D3 only does one thing, inactivates thyroid hormone. But do, tell us about D2 and D3. Where do they reside? What do they do? Okay. D2 works very similarly to D1. However, D2 is a superb enzyme. D2 is the and it has, just so you know, D2 has 1,000-fold more affinity, 44, than D1. D1 is a lousy enzyme. Even though D1, uh, you know, it was the first one discovered in the liver, in the kidneys, but D2 is so much more efficient. It's, it's like the supercharged enzyme. And so if you ask, uh, okay, the T3 that's produced outside of the thyroid, most T3 is produced outside of the thyroid. Who produces T3 outside of the thyroid? Is it D1 or D2? Studies done in the 70s show that is D2 pathway. D2 makes about 80% of the T3 in the, in, uh, that's made outside of the thyroid gland. D1 makes only 20%. But the king of reverse T3 is the third deiodinase, is D3. Uh -huh. So D1 and D2, they activate thyroid hormone mostly. D3 only does one thing, inactivates thyroid hormone. D D3 kills everything. D3 takes T3 and transforms it into T2, a dot, dead molecule. So where does T3 go? T3 goes to D3 and it's killed completely. D3 is very effective enzyme. It's very has high affinity for T3. So it also takes T4 and make reverse T3. So D3 inactivates T3 and makes sure T4 doesn't do anything, takes T4 and make reverse T3. So, now, D, so when you think about it, D3 and D2 are the most powerful deiodinases. D2 making T3, D3 eliminating, inactivating thyroid hormone.